In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can introduce a video on the screen by causing it to emerge from the very center where it opens up in two opposite directions. The nice thing about the approach we're about to show you is you do not need the most recent version of PowerDirector. You don't need any additional special add-on transitions. You can do this in virtually any version of PowerDirector that you happen to have. We'd like to show you a clip that illustrates this technique in action, and then we'll show you a bit about how to create this yourself. First step to use this technique is to take my clip. I'm going to take the first one on my timeline, highlight it, and then from the tool menu above the timeline, I'll click on the drop down and I'm going to choose the option that says Mask Designer. That opens up my Mask Designer window. I want to be with the Mask tab on the upper left showing, and I do have it there. We're going to click on the Mask Properties and expand that subcategory. I'm going to take the inner slider and slide up. And I'm going to choose the white square box. Now I have my mask properties. Now I have it picked. I'm going to minimize that section and open up the object settings on the left side. First thing I want to do is I want to make it not partial width, full width. So right now it's 0.75. I'll just drag over the numbers and type in the number one. And now it's full width. Now we're going to keyframe this to apply this effect. I need to have my keyframe controls open, so what I'm going to do is click on the right in the lower right to the little blue up arrow and open up my keyframe control panel. My keyframe controls will be with scale. I want to make sure my playhead is all the way to the left. I'm going to click the scale diamond, and now I set the scale position at full frame. So we're going to move over where we want it to be fully revealed, somewhere around three seconds. And I can simply right click and choose duplicate previous keyframe. I'm going to move a ways over and I'll repeat the process, right click and choose duplicate previous keyframe. Then I'll move her a bit over and we're going to set another keyframe in a moment. Let's go back to the first one. I can click the left arrow on scale to hop between the keyframes. And now on the first one, what I want to do is I want to change the height value. I want to make sure that my maintain at mask aspect ratio is unchecked for this tutorial. So I'm going to take that, that and I'll drag the height back as far as I can go to the left. And now it starts out zero. Well, approximately zero. Watch what happens when we play this. It opens up. And now I see the full screen. Now, when we get to this one, it will still be full screen, but let's assume we want to close it the same way. I'll move my playhead over, make sure I'm not in the play mode. Move my playhead to the right. And then we're going to take that place and we're going to take the height and drag it back to zero. So now when we stop this and play it again, we'll see it opens up. And it stays on the screen for whatever time I have between my second keyframe and my third keyframe. And then it, it shrinks between the third and the last. When I'm done, I can simply click OK. And that gets me back to my main edit window. Now when I play this here, I see that keyframe controls of the mask working as it opens up and as it closes. Now normally I would close it at the end of the clip but I moved it shorter to save time. So that is the mask on that one. Let's try a slightly different approach. We're going to take the second clip and highlight it. Again, we'll choose the Tools menu and choose the Mask Designer. We're going to take that same mask, the rectangular one, and apply it to our clip. 
And then in the properties, we're going to make sure maintain aspect ratio again is turned off. And we're going to take the width and height and change both of them to a 1 so it's full screen. I'm going to click on my scale value at the beginning and set a scale position. I'll go in wherever I want it to be full screen. Right click and do duplicate previous keyframe. We'll go back toward the end where we want it to be that way and we'll right click and duplicate it again. Now let's go back to the first frame by clicking on my left arrow and hopping between keyframes. Now this time instead of height, let's take the width down to nothing. So I'm going to take the width down to 001. Now I'm going to move to the last frame in my project and I'll take the width down again to 001. And now we're going to click on OK to save this. So it will slide wide open left to right from the center and then when it gets near the end of the clip we'll see it will reverse and it will slide shut from the outside to the inside. And of course to change the speed of this all you need to do is change the distance between the keyframes. Let's look at the third variation. What we're going to do is click on the last clip. We'll also go to the Tools menu and choose Mask Designer. But this time we don't want to open it up horizontally or vertically. We want to open it up in a completely different way. So the first thing I want to do is choose the same mask I've chosen before. We'll take the rectangle. And now we're going to minimize the screen here. And now I want to rotate the mask. So we're going to go into a rotation mode here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to rotate it so it splits the angle here. Now the easiest way to do that first of all is to go into our properties options. And I'm going to take the mask aspect ratio. Again make sure that's unchecked. And I'm going to take the height and squeeze it together. That will give me a line. I want to see that line. If I change the width I can broaden it. And I think I want something like 1.15. I just type the numbers in. And now I need to rotate it slightly more and to get it corner to corner. In order to do that I found the easiest way is just to type a number here. I'm going to type the number 29. And that gives me a corner to corner. So there is my mask to start out with. So with this selected, I'm going to go into the scale and set a keyframe to start with. And then I'll set another keyframe. I'll click on the diamond. And now on this keyframe, I want it to open up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that value here. I'm going to change the height. We'll open it up. Till it covers open reveals it through the whole screen. That looks pretty good. And we'll go back here and we'll right click and do duplicate previous keyframe. We'll go back to the end and on the end we'll manually change it. We're going to take the height and drop it back down. Click on OK. So now when I play the last clip in the series we see it opens up at an angle and it will also close at the same angle when we're finished looking at the clip. So that's a very simple way that you can take your masking tools and create this kind of transition for your videos in CyberLink PowerDirector.